CBS 17 is your local election headquarters, and in less than an hour, two of the top Republican candidates running for the open U.S. Senate seat in North Carolina will go face to face in a debate. And CBS 17's Rod Carter is live in High Point with more on what we can expect. Rod, you're one of the moderators. I am. Good evening, guys. So it should be an informative debate. Debate. We're going to cover a lot of different topics. I can tell you that both uh, former Governor Pat McCrory and former Congressman Mark Walker are here. Uh, the former governor arrived about uh, 30 minutes ago, about 5:35, 10 minutes later. Uh, Walker uh, came in. I had a chance to speak with him as he walked in the door, and I said, "I'm looking forward uh, to our discussion tonight and our, our conversation." And he kind of chuckled and said, "Yeah, we'll start with conversation. So we'll see exactly how this ends up." But let me let me kind of set the stage for you. We're at WGHP. Here, our sister station in High Point. And if you know, the video you're looking at here is where the candidates are going to stand. Mr. McCrory will be on the stage on the left side, and uh, the former Congressman uh, Walker will be stage right. Again, a number of different questions they're going to answer for me, and of course, uh, veteran political journalist here in High Point at WGHP, Bob Buckley. Those questions range from the recent changes to the mask mandate, uh, the role of the CDC, the future of the CDC, the war in Ukraine. Uh, a number of different uh, topics we're going to go over. It is important to mention that Ted Budd, who has the endorsement of former President Trump, was invited to participate but has declined. In fact, he has not uh, participated in any debates that have taken place, uh, taken place uh, during this uh, primary season. But it is highly likely you're going to hear his name repeatedly tonight. We did talk to the former governor, former congressman, before tonight's debate. Let's listen. Up. He didn't show up for the Russian sanction vote at a time of potential World War III and Ted Budd doesn't show up to vote on Russian sanctions. We believe when people start paying attention, when the dust settles on this, we believe that we're going to come through this as the best candidate, to, not just to run against the Democrat, but the best candidate and the U.S. Senator to represent North Carolina. And again, there are a lot of undecided voters who, uh, who simply just not made a choice. Important to mention, though, in recent polls, Ted Budd does lead the pack at this point of GOP candidates. All right, so again, we have a number of questions we're going to ask tonight. One in particular is something that has been debated in North Carolina for decades. Everybody has an opinion about this. You'll certainly want to stick around for both what that question is and see how these candidates answer that question. Yeah, and, and you know, early, uh, early voting by mail is underway. We've mm -hmm. got early one-stop voting starting Thursday, right. and then, of course, the primary, which is on May 17th. So there's still time to change a mind or convince somebody to go one way or the other. And that's exactly what these candidates are using these opportunities, uh, these debate opportunities to do, to go after those folks who have not made up their minds and sway them in their direction. Again, this is the primary for the uh, Senate seat for the Republican Party, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, at the end of all of these debates, and I, I believe this is the last debate before uh, the actual election day. So this is going to be a good opportunity for these guys to make some, uh, some headway with those voters. Yeah, and I think it's important, I know we're being told to wrap, but we haven't really mentioned this, <laughs> that we're talking about the Republican debate, there's not a Democratic primary debate because Sherry Beasley right. is the presumptive winner coming into this Absolutely. primary election because all of the main candidates dropped out and endorsed her. So that's the reason we're not seeing that. If anybody at home is wondering, what about the Democrats? That's why. Yeah, they're probably questioning right. that. Yeah. And again, barring any. Um Barring any runoff uh, in the Republican Party, the winner of this race in this primary could be the person who faces her. So, of course, you know, it's one of those things that we just got to keep our eyes on. That's right. Looking forward to that, Rod. Thank you again. He'll be one of the moderators uh, for tonight's debate.